What? Oh, oh, sorry. Right. Morning, everybody. I hope we're all keeping well out there. I can see we're not all here yet, but uh, we're going to carry on and anyone turning up now will be getting an orange stamp. Here I am, your teacher, on the telly, in your house. What could possibly be better than that? Welcome to the first ever edition of Baycroft TV, an exciting new online YouTube experience exclusively for the Baycroft community. Why are we doing this? Well, first of it's because I know you're all missing my cheerful smile whilst sat there at home, so keep an eye out for that. That will be coming a little bit later. And secondly, it's because of the times and the situation we find ourselves living in. You'll be increasingly aware that we're living through something that's never been experienced before in your lifetimes. I've never experienced it in my lifetime. My father wouldn't have experienced it in his lifetime. It's an extraordinary time which requires extraordinary actions. I want to tell you about something that happened this week in history. During this very week, over 400 years ago, in 1709, something unexpected happened to a man called... Dampier was an interesting character. He was an English pirate and explorer. He was such an impressive sailor that he was given command of, the, of a Royal Navy ship, sorry. He was the first man to circumnavigate, which means travel all the way around the whole world, three times. He was the first Englishman to explore large parts of Australia. He became famous natural historian of Australian wildlife. And eventually he was court martialed, which means he got kicked out of the Navy for cruelty. So he lived quite an interesting life. But during this week in 1709, something happened. He met up with someone he had sailed with previously and someone who was even more interesting than he was. He met Alexandra Selkirk. Alexandra Selkirk was a Scottish sailor, but he didn't meet him in Scotland or in England or in Australia. He met him here. Just there, on what is now known as Ayla Alejandro Selkirk. Thank you very much to Miss Whittle for help with the pronunciation. It was a desert island in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, where he'd been left four years and four months earlier. He was left there by a rather unkind captain of another ship with just a musket, a hatchet, a knife, a cooking pot, a Bible, some bedding and some clothes. He was left with just that equipment on a desert island on his own where he survived for four years and four months before finally being rescued by William Dampier. The life of Alexander Selkirk was the inspiration for what was one of the first ever novels written in English, Robinson Crusoe, which I've got here. I've read this book myself, which is lucky for you lot. Because I'll be honest with you, it's full of stuff like this. But as this ordinarily the fate of young heads, so reflection upon the folly of it is more years, or a more dear bought experience at time. And so it was with me now, and yet so that I could not satisfy myself in the station, but was continually poring upon the means and possibly not be improper to give some account of the first conceptions of the subjects of the I've read this, so you don't have to. Great pleasure to the reader. Anyway, the story is much more interesting than the book. I mean, the book is just some bloke with a scruffy grey beard. Can you imagine that? What a loser. But the real life story of Alexander Selkirk is a fascinating and inspiring one. See, he was left on an island with hardly anything but a choice to make. He had to choose what to do. And he chose to be amazing. He was quite a normal man. As a man, he wasn't amazing. He found himself in a situation that he never expected to be in, and he chose to be amazing. We have found ourselves in a situation that we never expected to be in. We're in extraordinary circumstances. And if you look around the world, look at what's happening. Well, extraordinary circumstances are happening across the globe. The world can't help being in this situation. The country can't help being in this situation. But people all across the world, all across the country, are making the choice to be amazing. And you, us, the Baycroft community, we are being amazing. We are making the choice not to be part of the problem, to be, be, to be amazing in spite of the problem. Here's to us.
Faith Trust. Anyway, starting next Monday, we'll all be having a daily broadcast on this channel at 10 a.m. So after we've all called down from our Joe Wicks workout, we can keep in touch. There'll be ideas on learning from home, challenges, project ideas, all sorts to enable you to keep in touch with all the lovely teachers at Baycroft plus Mr. Hanlon, and so we can keep in touch with you lot. As you can see, I'm sitting here as I would normally, dressed for work, breakfasted, and ready to go. Please make sure that you log on each morning and let your Baycroft friends know, be ready, be dressed for school, so we can continue to be amazing together. That's the end of this broadcast. Look after yourselves, continue to be amazing, and I'll see you all on Monday morning. Yes, 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 all right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. One last thing, that smile. Okay.